Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna dive right on in to a wonderful product. This is the Wonder Blading Lip Color Liquid Blading Technology. Peel and reveal for perfect all day lip color. Why am I trying this? Oh yes, because Instagram stalked me out and like put 10,000 ads in my feed and I at first was like, well, that looks like garbage. And then I was like, no, I like it. And then all of a sudden Paris Hilton wound up in a commercial. I, it got weird for a minute. It's a blue metallic situation that you paint on the lips, you wait till it dries. It's gonna change our lives, okay, you guys? We are going to have a new way to do lips. Um, there's a lot of this action going on where there's like, look, there's nothing and it's a stain, but it starts out metallic blue. I want to see what it's all about. I really, really, really do. But first, before we get into the try on situation of this, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified of upcoming videos. Hello, hi again, I'm Tati. I'm back at it, posting twice a week, loving it. We are having a few noise disturbances today. I will forewarn you of that. Ooh, the timing of this. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna film. This is the second time I'm filming my intro because honestly, you guys, bear with me. She is having a day. I'm a normal human being and I have my moments and I have not left my home in like two days. I miss my old studio. I miss having air conditioning in my studio and you guys, Thank you for being so kind and sweet and supportive with everything that I'm doing here on YouTube, jumping back in it. A lot of you guys have questions like, well, how's it going? Are we gonna see the new space? I wanna show you the new space, but there's really just not much to show. And, you know, I'm having to kind of deal with that right now as I make content and try to make it fresh and really bring you guys what I hope you want to see and enjoy. This has been humbling for sure. Uh, it's new, it still is. Sitting down here, there's, some nostalgia that I have that pours through me that misses my old studio. And I know some of you guys miss it too. And I keep being like, oh my gosh, this background is like kind of boring. Do you guys like like the, should I order on Amazon the whole backdrop situation where it's like a color? Or do we like the laid back kind of vibe of like, hey, come on in, let's play with makeup. Let me know in the comments. I'm very, very curious kind of distracted today. It's a little bit noisy. It's heating up again. We're going to have another little bit of a heat wave this weekend. And so I'm like, oh, I never thought I would be that girl, especially having lived in California for so long, that I would be just like aching for fall because I'm a summer girl at heart. Like I love the sunshine. I want to be out in it. But right now I'm just like, can we be in fall? Pumpkin spice, everything. I'm waiting for that cold weather. Anyway, let's jump in. This is the Wonder Blading Lip Color. Why do I feel like this might burn? This is the shade XOXO. Are there different shades? So you get the activator and you get, you get an activator and you get a, oh, a lip mask. Hyper stain your lips. It's a two phase process that starts with a lip mask containing special colorants. The second step is a mist. What? Where's there a mist? Which activates the mask and hyper stains the brilliant color into the surface of your skin. Within seconds of misting, you can peel and reveal. This will give you a perfect pout of color that is transfer free, smudge free, feather free, and water resistant. Ensure that lips are completely covered with no skin visible. Leave on for, oh, only 10 to 45 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you guys in. All right. Got a little foundation on my lips that I wanna make sure I don't leave on. Oh my gosh, it is totally legit. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, mama. That is like bright blue. Oh, it smells. Shut the front door. Kids, be careful. It smells like, wait, time out. This smells like something that I know. Doesn't that drive you insane when you're like, what is that? Like, it's literally transporting me to a memory. It's like a candle slash marker that's sweet, but somehow floral. What is, it smells like something I know. Like soap? No. It smells like something that's taking me back to my childhood that is not makeup related. Like it does not smell like normal makeup. Um, wish me 
Mm, let's pray for the best. Okay, that looks like the worst thumbnail ever. So does that. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. <sighs> it looks like I've gotten in a fight. Explosion. <laughs> of me trying another peel off lipstick where I literally was drooling on myself and spitting in a cup because I didn't want it getting, I didn't want to swallow like the, like, you know, it just seems kind of toxic. I can't do this. I can't do this. It kind of stings. Have any of you guys tried this? Ooh, you know what I want to try? Side note, there's this nail kit where you literally buff in minerals into your nail after curing it with a gel base and then you put on another top coat and you cure it again. It's like a gel manicure, but instead of polish on the in-between, it's like loose minerals. Have you guys seen this? I really want to order it. Who's tried it? Is it worth it? Okay. It says to kind of go in thick. We're gonna go in uh, thick. I kind of like this color. I wish I could do it just like Paris Hilton. That's hot. That's what I say every time I come into my studio. Boom, boom, boom. I'm concerned that it's like making me drool. So now we will wait. I think it's gonna take more than 45 seconds. I'm gonna try to not talk so much, how about? It's still wet. This has been a lot longer than 45 seconds. It says the longer you leave it on, the more saturated the color. I wanna wait until this completely dries, so bear with me. I also just realized that they have a tint versus the actual stain. So I'm actually happy I did it in this order. XOXO is one of three lip stains that is going to be lighter, more natural. And then I have the shade First Kiss which is more of a cranberry deeper stain. So if this doesn't do too much, we're gonna dive on into this other shade. These kits, by the way, are $32. That's pretty expensive in general for any kind of a lip product, a gloss, a lipstick, a liquid lip. It does state that it is 95% natural. One of the statements they make is this is a healthier, safer way than actually microblading your lips. Ingredients or not, this is something temporary. So there are pros and cons here. Okay, I'm gonna do the spray. Mist activator one to two times to peel and reveal. Okay. Oh my gosh, why would I do that? <laughs> How are you supposed to do that only on your... I just feel like I messed up my... Oh, I... oh that tastes like medicine. Let's peel and reveal. Uh, okay. Okay, um, I'm concerned because I can't feel my lips. I'm actually not even joking. What is in this that numbed out my lips? It really took right in here more so than the outer portion. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, eh. like the lighter stain is just not a very consistent, like I feel like I could put a gloss on and maybe make it work, like it changed my lip color, but it's definitely grabbing a little patchy. Okay, we're gonna go for it. You know what? I am muscling through this, even though I kind of can't feel my lips and that is a slight concern. I wanna see what the darker one does. So we're gonna go into the shade First Kiss and do this all over again. Bottoms up. Ooh, yeah, that's way more saturated, too. This one's going on more almost like purple. All right, you guys, I've left this on now for like a solid five minutes. 
I can kind of see some of the color change already peeking through. And before we do the spray and peel off, it's so weird. It looks wet. It's not wet at all. There's something oddly satisfying about looking at this color, but I wanna share with you all, do not get this on your hands. I got a little bit of it on my fingertips. You know, this will eventually wash off. I could do like a little scrub oil. I took some makeup wipes. It's not coming off. Be warned, this will stain your fingers. Also probably be careful to not get it like how I got it on the nose, like take it off right away. If anything splatters on you, take it off right away because this stain is legit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't like that sprayer. It mists all over your face. How are you supposed to just get that just, I mean, it's on my chin. It's, I don't know what's in here. It tastes like candy, but kind of like medicine-y candy. I don't think it can be that good for you. Just gonna go ahead and say that. And it really, you know when like droplets kind of destroy your makeup? It's kind of, it's kind of doing that. Three, two, one, let's see. Ooh, this like not tint one is peeling off way better. Oh my. What the heck? Hold the phone. What is even happening right now? It's kind of a little bit troublesome to take off. Oh wait, it comes with a cloth. The things that we do for the sake of beauty. Am I right? Can I just get a thumbs up for that alone? Like, what are we even doing? We are lip staining, we are doing airbrush spraying on our body makeup and face makeup, all these weird products, like just to be a little cute. Yeah, you know. I have been proven wrong. Whatever that spray is does not, it does not taste good. I will go ahead and share that with you. Oh no, I got like a little bit of it right here. What is even happening? I'm gonna go ahead and say, whoa, I kind of love it. I did not expect this. After the first one, I was like, that's uneven. It's blotchy. It's not giving a lot of color. Don't like it, whatever. But we'll try the darker one. Kind of have an idea of where this is gonna go. But no, I would suggest to my future self to be more careful next time. Also, I may refrain from doing face makeup until after this so that you could really kind of go in when you're taking it off and with that spray, you could kind of clean it up a little bit better. Um, Cause right now after kind of rubbing it off, cause it doesn't peel off all perfectly at once. I did kind of rub off some of my makeup. I did try two in a row and I had a little bit of uneven staining right here. I think that's because I may have some dryness right here that it's clinging to a little bit more, but the way you can kind of feel my mind working, I'm like, da -da 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 -da. I'm like next time I could do this, 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 because I love the idea that look, nothing, nothing. It is a beautiful stain. I normally do not like stains because they immediately dry my lips out. So where I kind of thought this was like, whatever, nice try, Wonder Skin. What I wanna do now is pop on a gloss, like just a see-through clear gloss, go about my day and see just how long this vibrancy holds and then I'll do a check-in at the end of the day because this turned into something so cool. Okay, so the tint, no, don't love it, but the actual color, it's kind of cool, right? Let me know, maybe I'm seeing it differently in the mirror, but just looking at it and feeling it on my mouth, I'm kind of intrigued and think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna literally put on a clear Lorac gloss so I don't change the color at all. I mean, it's coming off a tiny, well, barely. Do you guys see? It's like barely even coming off on the clear doe foot applicator. So like you could full on just like drink whatever, nothing's coming off on your straw except for clear gloss. Sometimes with a darker lip gloss, you have to worry about it like migrating and getting outside the line and you're gonna have embarrassing like red pigment everywhere. This is not gonna have, ooh, I kind of like it. 
Dang it, I just need to learn how to do it without like making a mess. All right, we will wear this for several hours and then I will be back to give you my final say on the Wonder Blading Lip Color from Wonder Skin. I feel fresh, I feel beautiful, I feel fun. I feel like this is so just an even look on the lips. Uh, you guys, you guys. I do feel fresh and good and cute and fun minus the lip look that has sadly disappeared and gone a little patchy patch patch, but I will use this again because for most of the day until I went ahead and ate a lot of food because I'm trying to put on more weight and get back into my muscular fit woman kind of a thing. Like I feel like, let's like sidetrack for a moment um, just to talk about life because why not? I look great right now. So let's just like extend the outro as long as we can. No, I'm, I'm eating more food more snacks, more protein shakes. I am back in the pursuit of working out. Maybe I should work out more consistently, start posting a little um, bit of that again. Remember like back in the day when I was just like, I was in the gym and I was, you know, I'm a tiny framed woman, we all know that, but I was like into the lifting. Well, I've got the food part more managed right now, but um, to be honest, I'm not working out as much as I would like to. Maybe that's a journey I will share a little bit more moving forward. Do we wanna see that on IG again? That might be kind of weird because I'm training with the mirror, which is pretty cool by the way, PS. Long story short-ish, I have been eating on the regular. I'm basically that woman that will have like ground turkey with vegetables in a giant bowl. I'm like no exaggeration. I literally went over to my sister's the other night and I had like a punch bowl of food. And I just like on the go, constant eating. There's a lot of like healthy fats and whatnot. So the reason I'm sharing this with you all is A, I like to talk and B, the oils will wear down a stain like this which it has clearly. But had I not been eating as much, I do think it would have lasted longer. And also had I not been eating so much oily food like avocado and butter, MCT oil, that whole thing. So it's a lot of the oils I think that broke this down. I will wear, do I have food on my face? Food on my face, really terrible lip look and my farty chair. It's fine. We're like family at this point. We're friends. You get me, I get you. Your comments lately, by the way, thank you so much, so much for the support and like the funnies and the love. I love it all. I will wear this again. The burning sensation, the nummy kind of sensation did dissipate after a few minutes. Kind of alarming. Need to look at the ingredients a little bit closer, but it does say that most of the ingredients are safe and natural. That is something they point out on the website pretty clearly. Let me know, does this intrigue you? Because honestly, I think I'm gonna order another shade. I really did enjoy it for most of the day until I ate too much food. I kind of love it. I wish I had put it on before I did my foundation so that I didn't get that spray everywhere and so that the peely didn't get, you know, kind of in the way of my foundation. Other than that, like it was great. It wore for about, I would say like four hours without it doing this. And also I could probably order their gloss as well because maybe the oils in here might have broken it down a little bit too. But I did really enjoy the fact that with a clear gloss on top, nothing was smearing, smudging anywhere. So basically this is the weirdest outro where I'm like, it looks terrible, but here's why. It's kind of my fault and I have high hope for the product. I wanna try another shade. That's where we're landing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting. I definitely think the tints are not where it's at. It's the actual saturated color that is really, really fun, really special, really different. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me those comments, share it, make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell, and I hope you're having a good one. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.